Here you go. Here you go. Got one, Jimmy. Good one. Keeper. That ain't no bass. What is that thing? Fishing University with Charlie Ingram and Ray Brazier is brought to you by Honda Marine, Charger Boats, Strike King, Ray Marine, Jackson Kayak, Cash and Rods, TH Marine, Spro, Schrader Orthopedic, and Stem Cell Treatment Center. Closed captioning provided by PowerPole, Swift, Silent, Secure. Today, Fishing University is at Deep Creek Lake. Now, this is one of the prettiest lakes that we've ever been on. The scenery is just second to none. I mean, it's like being in the mountains at Gatlinburg. There's houses here that's got views that'll blow your mind. We want to thank Deep Creek Camp and Rayleigh Realty for having us here. Our special guest today is the Spro Corporation, and they've sent two high school superstars to represent them. We're going to be fishing a new crankbait they're introducing. Stay tuned and watch these boys catch the big one. They're going to put a whooping on me and Charlie. All right, Charlie, Mason, we're fixing to start the Spro Corporate Cup Championship. The five biggest fish will win this championship. When you catch a fish, weigh it, release the fish, and then record your weight, okay? The only exception today is we have to use a new crankbait that's introduced by Spro, designed by Russ Lane. It's a square bill, and we've got two different sizes, a 70 and a 55. You know, I tell you, Ray, we're really honored to have these two young men with us today. You know, Georgia is probably the leader in high school fishing teams, and we've got the two guys that won Angler of the Year last year in Georgia high school fishing. Spro was kind enough to send them here with us to do this show. I think we'll learn a lot from these high school fishermen. Got two hot shots and let's go get them. <laughs> right. So you really like throwing that Spro crankbait, huh? Yes, sir. It's a great bait to cover a lot of water and you get a lot of bites with it. What's your favorite color to fish? Uh, chartreuse and black. That's a good muddy water color and I'm a big muddy water fisherman. So what do you throw in clear water like we've got up here at Deep, Deep Creek Lake in Maryland? I would throw a sexy shad or a ghost shad crankbait, brim, something more natural than so they can see a little bit better. That's right, the clearer the water, the more natural the color you need. That's yes, right, sir. the murkier the water, you can get more away stained with water, yeah, that's right. You're better off with something that's got a lot more color to it and flash. There you go. Got him? Got him. He's got you, hadn't he? He got me. He got a bass, though. So that's a fact. That's not a that's not a pickerel there. Is it? That's a bass. Your first smallmouth. First smallmouth I ever caught. Well, I guess we ought to weigh that one. 0.57. You got one? Yeah. It's a large mouth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Two docks, two bites. 1.36 large mouth. That little 55 will catch him. Oh, you see that? Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. him too. I got him. He's a good one. There he is. I saw him come out and yeah, hit it. That's pretty cool right there. 105. 105. 105. All right. First fish, fish number one. How many high school tournaments do y'all fish, Carter? Uh, we have one every month so besides December, so it's around eight or nine in the during the school year. Yeah. And then we have our state tournament, state championship in March around there, so probably about eight or nine. And y'all won? Angler of the Year. Angler of the Year. Won Angler of the Year, yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Now, how did you get associated with Spro? Well, they're out of Kennesaw, Georgia, and that's right next to our um, okay. area. So then we got their sponsor, and then we promoted them a lot. Then we became good friends with them. They, decided, they asked if they wanted us to be on this show, so we were like, sure. Oh, that's great. That's great. You got one? I got, yeah, I got one. Oh, that's a good one right there. That's a good fish. 
He's in a brush pile. Oh, look at that big one right there. <laughs> two, seven, five. Two, seven, five. It's a pretty fish. Pretty fish, boy. That's a healthy fish. That's a very it? healthy fish. On behalf of Camp Deep Creek, we'd like to welcome Fishing University to Garrett County, Maryland. Camp Deep Creek is Garrett County like never before. Camp Deep Creek is within minutes of everything Garrett County has to offer, such as Deep Creek Lake, Wisp Ski Resort, and numerous state parks. Camp Deep Creek is located on 18 acres. We have sports fields, hiking trails, plenty of room for group activities. The main lodge sleeps 24. We have two bunk houses that sleep 20 each. We have a full cafeteria with seating for 60 and two private bathhouses. Plenty of room to stretch your legs and enjoy great mountain views. Camp Deep Creek makes a great base camp for hunters, anglers, scouts, family reunions, church retreats, sports camps, whatever you want to do in the outdoors. For more information, visit CampDeepCreek.com. We really hope to see you here. Hi, I'm Bill Weisgerber of Rayleigh Realty. Welcome to Western Maryland's only four season resort and best kept secret, beautiful Deep Creek Lake. Located in the mountains of Western Maryland, Deep Creek Lake offers 65 miles of shoreline and some of the best boating, sailing, and fishing opportunities in the Mid-Atlantic region. Other main attractions include the Wisp Resort, the Yakagani River, and Savage River, along with thousands of acres of state forest. So every day can be a new adventure opportunity. A popular tourist and second home destination, Deep Creek Lake's only a few hours away from most locations in Maryland, Pennsylvania, Virginia, West Virginia, and Ohio. If you would like to know more about Deep Creek Lake, contact us at www.railey.com or at deepcreeklodging.com. How long have you been fishing for Spro? For Spro, I've been fishing about last year and this year and last year. Just about. That's pretty good for a high yes, school sir. angler. What's mm -hmm. your favorite bait? What's your... Spro crankbait. Spro. Well, old Russ has done a good job on yeah, these, he has. hasn't he? These nice little square bills, they throw good, they, they run perfectly. good. They run Good hooks on them, too. That's right. That's Let's right. Let's catch you some fish. That's right. There's one, Carter. Oh, there he is. Small mouth. We'll take him, won't we? Oh, yeah, we will. It's another nice little small mouth. <laughs> I like to catch them any kind, don't you? One, four, seven. All right, buddy. So what year are you in high school, mate? I'm a, I am a junior. You're a junior. You plan on going to college? Yes, sir. Well, you know, Bethel gives us a scholarship to give away on the Make Me A Star thing we do with high school students. In fact, they give a four year and a two year. And then we got another company, T&H Marine, that gives $10,000 just for, you know, incidentals like books and that sort of thing. So be a neat deal. You need to look it up on fishingu.com and, and get uh, Make Me A Star program for your junior. You can enter this year or next year either one, be great. It'd be a great college to go to. And Bethel fish. has got the best fishing team, or one of the best in the country, for sure. There he is. There got he him? is. Yeah, good one. Good yeah. one? Good one. It feels like a good one. There's your, there's your small mouth. That's what I'm talking about right there. Big small mouth on a spro crankbait. 1.80. All right, Mason, Charlie, it's halftime on the Spro Corporate Cup Championship. Let's see what y'all caught. We've caught us four little bass. Oh, y'all have. It's good. All right, show them what All you right. got, Carter. Hey, y'all got a two and a quarter, two and three quarters. One. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. They got they got you beat. They got us beat. You got we just got to work at it, ain't we? Yeah, that's right. More. It's just halftime. Halftime. You know, we could. Still throw a touchdown pass. That's right. Boy, this lake got a lot of small mouth and large mouth and cover. Got the grass, got boat docks. But it's a great little bait too. I mean, oh, Russ has done a good job. 
I'm telling Pro you. Pro has done a good job building that boat. Yeah, They've that, got it perfect. That is, it really that's does. incredible. It casts good, it runs good. So, good luck to y'all. Today we're at Marine Master Trailers in Tullahoma, Tennessee, and I have with me my special guest, Johnny, who's the plant manager and has build, been building boat trailers all of his life. And y'all build trailers for many of the bass boat factories and just about any kind of boat that you can imagine. Johnny, I can walk through any boat ramp and I can look at this cable. Most of them are frayed the hook's pulled off and explain to the viewer what's happening when you pull this cable. Ray, this cable is a, a very important safety feature to your trailer. It actually applies the brakes whenever the two come apart, when the trailer comes apart from the tow vehicle. Now, once those brakes are applied, the easy way to release them is to push this button. Because and this button's located. This button's located right underneath the bottom, right here, right behind the ball. Johnny, I'll guarantee you, they ain't one out of a hundred fishermen knows that there's a release Most on this. Most people don't know that's under there. And <clears throat> the cable part, once you've frayed it or messed the hook up or pulled it out, it's very important you take it to a dealer and have the dealer replace it because this thing goes through and winds back through the inside of this actuator. And it's very important that the dealer replaces it the proper way. The next time something comes loose, you want it to work like it's supposed to. So when you pull this, your brakes are being applied all the time until you release it. Until you release it on the bottom. And to be safe and to have a trailer that you're not damaging when you pull it, just go to your local dealer. He yes. can replace this cable and have you ready to go to your favorite lake and catch the big bass of your dreams. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get him. Five, seven. There's a fish. Oh, it's a pickle. It's, it's not the kind we're looking for. It's not? No, I don't think. I think I seen him jump. But he's fighting good. Yeah, it is, too. <laughs> That's a big one right there. 169. 169. 169. There you go. Oh, that's a that's good, one. good one too. Yeah, good one. Yeah, that'll work right there. You see that other one with it? No, nah, but we'll remember that. We'll come back and catch him in a minute. 2.62. <laughs> that helps right there, buddy. That'll help him. That helps. I got a degree in animal science and a minor in English, and that helps every day. You guys are at a point in your life, you gotta make a decision about what you wanna do. You can't just go out there and start fishing, I don't think. So get an education and be able to make a living so you can fish. How many here wanna pursue fishing for a career the rest of your life? How many wanna be a doctor or a teacher? Anybody like that? How many gonna to go to college? I mean, kid, I mean, y'all plan on going to college. Any of you got a job? Any of you got a job? Nobody in here got a job? All we're going to do is fish for a living? You're going to apply for jobs later in your life, and you've got to beat somebody. It's got to be a competition. And to beat them, you've got to have more qualifications. The number one qualification is education. Everyone in here has the opportunity to high school fish and, you know, fish later. You can start now, and you can fish forever. Yeah, I started tournament fishing two years ago, and I mean, look at, I mean, we're, we're going. I mean, it's gonna happen. Like, you can go to college for fishing, and then you can fish pro, and you can do a TV show like, like Ray and Charlie have, 
And if you don't want to fish, but you want to be outdoors, there's so many other opportunities that you can have. Me and Mason fished last year and we had a very successful year. We had, like he said, multiple top five finishes, winning one tournament and um, winning Angler of the Year. And the reason why we won Angler of the Year is because we were prepared, we set goals and we had a confidence to win. I started to set goals now, like I'll graduate high school, graduate college, fishing college, maybe become a pro. What I learned mostly is that setting goals is the key to victory. Uh, to date, we've given 62 scholarships out for over $30,000. And it's a, it's a scholarship program that's not a one-time deal. If you didn't get it the first year, don't be discouraged. Please put back in for it. You know, uh, the scholarships, we've had uh, several, several individuals that actually we, four years in a row, they got scholarships. We started this program that you guys are involved in about four years ago when Bass changed over to the high school program. There were zero like, to start. In 48 months, we have 100 kids fishing in high school in Maryland right now. And we believe that the membership at BASS right now, Bass Nation, you guys represent one third of their entire membership in four years. They know, the sponsors know that you guys are their future. You're going to buy their products. You're going to, you know, you're going to, you guys are going to be us later on. So we sure appreciate you guys' interest in, in fishing. And this is a big deal and it's going to just get bigger. The scholarships are here. We offer scholarships at Maryland. If you want to go to school, school and fish, I would have loved to have had that happen to me. Fishing University with Charlie Ingram and Ray Brazier is brought to you by Honda Marine, Charger Boats, Strike King, Ray Marine, Jackson Kayak, Cash and Rods, TH Marine, Spro, Schrader Orthopedic, and Stem Cell Treatment Center. Closed captioning provided by PowerPole, Swift, Silent, Secure. Hi, my name is Carter Coza. And I'm Mason McCoy. Today we're going to talk to you about the new Spro family of crankbaits called the Spro Fat Papa Square Bill. They have two sizes, the Spro Fat Papa Square Bill 55 and 70. Here are a few of my favorite colors, the clear chartreuse, the chartreuse blackback, red crawfish, and mellow yellow. Spro has really made a great crankbait here. You know, they've made a variety of fish catching colors. And some of my favorites in the Fat Papa 70 are bluegill and tropical shad, and in the Fat Papa 55, the Nasty Shad, and Honey Crawl. The bills that are made out of circuit board, which are very durable, and they deflect off cover well, giving the bait a great flash. You know, Mason, not just a bill durable, but the whole bait itself is very durable. And also, they have the best hooks on the market, Gamagatsu hooks. These baits are really equipped well. On the Fat Papa 55 square bill, they have size four round bend hooks, and on the Fat Papa 70 square bill, they have size two EWGs. You know, with these Gamagatsu hooks, it makes it really hard for fish to throw this bait. For more information about the Fat Papa Square Bill, check out Spro's website at sprousa.com. You're gonna love it. You know, I'd like to thank all the members at Spro and everyone, everyone over there for letting me come out here and fish with, with you and Charlie. It was, it was, it's been a blast for sure. Oh, it's that. It's great of that corporation to mm -hmm. allow y'all boys to come and fish with us. And I'm going to tell you something. You're truly worthy of being a Spro Pro Staffer. Yes, You're sir. going to be good someday. Hang in there. That's right. Thank you. He's got it good. Just take your time. He ain't going to come off. He's got it both sets of hooks in his mouth. Just take your time. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes. That'll do it. We can go to the house. Man, it locked up and I thought it was grass. Unbelievable. There's a three pounder. Mm, 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 that'll mm. get rid of that little one, won't it? That'll get rid of the little one. Golly, what a deal. I what thought a it, deal. Oh, man. That'll get your heart going. Mm. Weigh that son of a gun. Boy, that's a good one there now. 3.63. All right, Charlie, 
Mason. This winds up the Spro Corporate Cup Championship. Let's see what y'all caught here on Deep Creek Lake. Oh, <laughs> Goodness, that's pretty good. Man, you just well bow our head. <laughs> oh Lord, show them what we got. We thought we'd done pretty good, but mm -hmm. that three six three now, boy, I'm telling you, good job, guys. Yeah, my partner caught that big fish at the end of the day. It really helped us a lot. And Charlie Mason. Y'all won this championship. But the real winners in this is you boys, Mason, Thank you. Carter, Thank you, sir. and the Spro Corporation. Thank you, Charlie and Ray, for having us up here. I had a blast being able to come up here. Uh, thank you for Spro for sending us. Um, I had a blast throwing our fat pop of 55 and 70, and we caught a lot of fish on it. Well, sports fans, that winds up another class on Fishing University. But before we go, I want to tell you that We've been doing Fishing University for over 30 years. This is probably the most rewarding show that we've ever filmed. We got these two guys from Georgia that are Anglers of the Year for Georgia High School Fishing. They have great accomplishment skills. They've got great speaking skills, all due to fishing. If you're a teacher and you have high school students that like to fish, please take this time to form a fishing team. If you're a parent, try to encourage your kid to be a fisherman. It gives them great accomplishment skills. We want to thank Charlie and June McCloskey for having us up here this week. We want to thank Camp Deep Creek for being our host, and Bill Weissgerber with Rayleigh Realty for having us here with these young high school guys. I tell you, it's been a rewarding experience for us. We want to thank Spro for sending these Georgia Angler of the Year champions to Maryland to fish a show with us. We look forward to seeing you right here next week on Fishing University. Killed at that time, didn't it? Boom. <laughs> <laughs>